The Antichrist comes before Jesus Christ. 1 John 2.18 says, Little children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. 2 Thessalonians 2, 3-4 says, Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God. God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Listen to what Jesus warns us in Matthew 24, 24. Jesus says, For false Christ and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. And if you're a Christian today, you are a part of the elect. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 says, The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. But the good news is that Jesus will destroy the Antichrist when he returns to gather his people. 2 Thessalonians 2 8 says, And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. So why is it important to know this? Revelation 13 7 says, Then the beast was permitted to wage war against the saints and to conquer them, and it was given authority over every tribe and people and tongue and nation. Daniel 7 25 shows us how long this will happen. It says, He will speak out against the Most High and oppress the saints of the Most High, intending to change the appointed times and laws, and the saints will be given into his hand for a times, time, and half a time, which is three and a half years. Again, Matthew 24 has a warning for us in verse 12. It says, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Many popular Christian teachers are confusing Christians by telling them that they will not have to face the Antichrist. Therefore, these people will not be ready for what they need to endure. Many people like to say that they're looking for Jesus Christ. Christ and not the Antichrist, but they've misunderstood the fact that Jesus gave the coming of the Antichrist as a sign of his coming. Because again, the Antichrist comes before Jesus Christ and we need to be warned.